Do you hear it? That's what we're going to be checking today. I want to show you the four most common reasons for this noise and how you can visually check it and see what it is. All right, so at this point, I want you to do a little visual investigation. You're going to basically be looking at the pulleys and the alternator on the front of this 2.4 liter world-class engine. And of course, the front is actually right here, which is on the passenger side. This is front wheel drive, so the engine points from left to right. So the front of the engine here, we're going to do a basic inspection, just looking at a total of four pulleys. And those are the most common places for the noise to start and what you can physically see to determine if it needs to be replaced. Otherwise, you just need a flashlight and just take a look and I'll show you what you need to check out. Now, what I want you to do is inspect the front of this alternator. Here's the alternator pulley right here. If you go back, you see this orange color here, this rust. That rust is actually metal filings or particles from the bearing. And as it gets thrown out where it just accumulates here and it actually starts turning rust. So that means for sure, the alternator is bad. We're going to have to replace that because of bearing failure. And we got three other pulleys we need to check. We need to check the lower idler. We need to check the tensioner right here. And we need to check the upper idler. Now the best way to inspect them is look at the outside. If you see an oily, dusty residue all over it like this upper one has, we know for sure that the grease is coming out of the bearing because the seal's gone bad. We need to replace this upper idler. We look at the tensioner. Tensioner is still nice and dry. Don't see nothing wrong with that. And if we look down here at the lower idler, we can see the same kind of dust and dirt and oil buildup as we did as the upper. So we need a lower idler, upper idler, and we surely need an alternator. And then we'll recheck the noise afterwards. Well, hopefully you like that little shortcut I showed you on what you can do to isolate the noise on that 2.4 world-class engine. You'll find it in Jeep Patriots. Um, you also get them in Dodge Calipers, Jeep uh, Compasses, and also like you saw the Dodge Avenger. So, now you know what to look for as far as the grease around the pulleys and the rust ring around the alternator. We, as you saw, replaced the alternator and the two idler serpentine belt pulleys and we took care of that noise completely. Customer's now happy, sounds completely 100% better, so there you have it. At this point, I ask for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and you can check me out on Instagram. And if you got any kind of comments, suggestions about this video, anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep related, feel email free. me at david at MotorCityMechanic.com and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. In the meantime, keep watching my videos.